So tear gas residues health risks kind of depend on the tear gas itself. Uh, most common forms are CS or CN. Um, the short-term effects are, are, are pretty obvious. You got your coughing and your eyes watering, burning, uh, sneezing. The long-term effects can be, you can even get blindness from it, chemical burns, uh, glaucoma. So we take tear gas just as serious as our, as our biohazard jobs than uh, making sure that we're mitigating it correctly. So when Scene Clean goes into a, a tear gas job, um, obviously we wear full PPE, which would include uh, chemical suits, full face respirators, gloves, um, and because of those, those long-term and short-term issues. When we do a job, the, the, we have to make sure that the house itself is completely mitigated. So it's, it's incredibly detailed, um, just like drug mitigation, tear gas mitigation includes thoroughly going through everything in the house with its personal contents and either discarding some of those that can't be cleaned, uh, really detailed HEPA vacuuming, and then there's a process of washing the structure uh, and that includes maybe some demolition such as carpeting, we almost always just pull the carpeting, couches usually end up having to be disposed, um, but then there's the process of HEPA vacuuming every square inch of the house. Uh, and then washing it with a, a tear gas neutralizer followed by a cleaner to try and remove any of the residuals that are left behind from the neutralizer. Uh, and that can take several rounds. It's not just a, a one and done thing typically. Uh, sometimes it takes three or four complete washings of a home to thoroughly get it cleaned. 